Tierney became the licensee of the Swan Inn in Pelsall back in 2002, it wasn't long before he and his family started to experience paranormal activity. After delving into the history of the Swan and with the help of some of his elder regulars, he was shocked to discover why the building was so haunted. Up until 2006, the Swan Inn on Wolverhampton Road, Pelsall, was reputedly the oldest public house in Pelsall, dating back to 1809. Features written about the Swan Inn appeared in issue 18 and 19 of Pelsall Times. In 2002, I was fortunate enough to meet Tony, who was the then licensee of the Swan. At that time, there was an abundance of carefully kept and preserved memorabilia directly connected with the history of the Swan Inn, including old photographs, golf clubs and original football boots, which had belonged to members of the Swifts. The Swan was famous locally for being home to the Swifts, the once great local footballing team whose last match was played on 16th of October 1939, shortly before the Second World War broke out and most of the men were called up. In its time, the Swan had survived many significant and pivotal events since the early 1800s, including a scarlet fever outbreak in 1886, a major colliery disaster in 1887 and a typhoid outbreak which raged locally in 1895 and of course two world wars. In addition to this and unknown to most people the Swan Inn harboured a dark secret which led to a haunting. When Tony and his family moved into the Swan it wasn't long before they started hearing unexplained noises, such as knocking, screaming and sobbing. After mentioning the noises to some of the elder regulars, on one occasion Tony was shocked by what he discovered. Tony was told that an old miner was said to haunt the pub, likely because in his lifetime it had been his local. Then he was told a much more unsettling story about a young girl who was said to haunt the Swan Inn. Tony was told that at some point in the early 1800s, the landlord at the time had bricked up his daughter in one of the rooms in the pub after finding out that she was pregnant and left her there to die. When I visited the Swan, Tony was able to show me the tiny room where the young girl was incarcerated in the 1800s, which in 2002 could be accessed by a small loft hatch. It was widely acknowledged amongst the village elders that the ghost of the young girl was responsible for the paranormal activity experienced at the Swan.